my friend all right so you want to add a chatbot to your wordpress blog now we're going to talk about how you can do that and I'm going to show you what I mean by a chatbot if I look at my blog site you can actually go to my blog site whoops let's share the screen here and you can actually see this little fella down here right if I scroll down you can see he's always there down the bottom and he's actually saying hello check this out check the check this out click here right so you can do that you can do a whole bunch of different ways but that's a chat bot and when you click it your visitor is going to be presented with a conversation right then welcome to my blog you have time to talk I say sure and then we move on to the conversation now if you if they don't enable that maybe you want to send them a special message maybe you want them to register if they try to leave your site it's you can have it so it pops up a chatbot like this where it says hey wait wait don't leave right before you go <laughs> how'd you like to set up a chatbot like this on your own website right so of course there I could you could be promoting anything you could be asking them to join your list you can be doing anything like that and you can set that up really really easily it doesn't take a lot of technical knowledge you just need to know the steps and we're going to cover those steps in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so let's make this real easy for you let's try to go through the steps so that you can do it on your blog so this is going to assume that you already have a wordpress site you are trying to add your blog to your word uh, not your blog sorry the chatbot to your blog so the first thing you need to do is you need to get a chatbot software now, there's a whole bunch of them obviously and I'm going to talk about the one that I use and that you can get for a lifetime deal right now so all you got to do is first you first you need to get the chatbot software right if you choose to get a different chatbot software obviously the process to, to add it is going to be different so you won't this 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 tutorial is not but anyways it'll give you an idea maybe but still the like I said the chatbot software is ridiculous it's 37 dollars a lifetime let me just show you the link here uh where is it uh, there you go right here so if you go to myconversio.bot myconversiobot.com will actually take you to this page which is a page that I uh, talk more about the the bot right so if I go to myconversiobot.com it'll take you to a page that talks about the chatbot software uh, on my blog so it's basically a blog blog page as you can see this page um, also has a chatbot on it and just load up in a second here and or maybe it doesn't oh yes it does okay I thought it, it did but so over here this is going to be a different chat but this talks about the chatbot software you can click on these things to go get it uh and if you click on this fella <coughs> he's he's a chatbot so thanks for waking me up do you got a minute sure I got a minute then he's going to say awesome my name is Jean-Serge it's going to say what's your name it's Bob and then it'll ask me uh do, have, do you have a blog a website a funnel capture page to set up a chatbot like this I'm gonna say yes uh great you can easily add a chatbot like this to your website or page the cool thing about this chatbot is you can create an unlimited set of flows conversations for your website you can actually do this on a regular website too we're not gonna we're not talking about the um uh, the 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 word wordpress specifically but anyways if you've got a wordpress it's a lot easier even but just like this conversation is different on this page and on the rest of my blog so as I kind of wanted to point that out right that when I when I first showed you my blog it said welcome to my blog right whereas this one doesn't say welcome to my blog it says wake what thanks for waking me right and then it has these this information that's not the same as what it's pretty awesome right I say totally then it takes me to the page okay go to info.conversion I should probably make this a le let's actually go fix that I'm going to go fix that right now and make <laughs> make that a link because it's supposed to be a link you can click on right click con to continue when you're done let's go to the actual uh, my blog I'm actually going to go in my dashboard here and go no that's not where I want it <laughs> sorry it's in the conversion bot so conversion bot once you have it it looks like this you have a dashboard and then you have your bots um 
let's yeah let's I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead here I want to show you first how to get ConvergioBot so ConvergioBot you go to this link uh, let's just go to that link and that's the place where you actually order the ConvergioBot software like I said it's not it's it's ridiculous right now I don't know how long they're going to have this deal for but if you scroll down you can see that they have the deal at where is it right here right so you got light and pro so you can get light for um where's the price for <coughs> 36 a month right now 27 dollars lifetime or you get the pro which is 67 about double the price but right now they have it at 37 dollars one-time payment and and depending on what what uh, what day you look at you might get a 10 percent coupon here but uh this is how you get it you just click on this I definitely you know it's kind of silly to go with the light when it's only ten dollars more for the uh so you get unlimited chatbots you get multi-site license install on unlimited websites you get 10 done for you AI chatbot templates uh you get full commercial license to sell your bots right and you can add bots to external websites you don't control useful for testing and showing people how to how they might want a bot from you right you can actually do that too if you want anyways I'm just saying that's <laughs> what you get with the pro so just click on this get conversion bot conversion bot pro and that's just going to take you to a page to order it with you know put your credit credit card and anyways that's it and once you have that then you're going to have a, a back office like this a dashboard right obviously when you first start you just got the conversion bot pro you don't have any of these those are all upgrades you can get um and lots of them I recommend definitely getting the uh, conversion bot extreme for sure uh, auto chat bot builder is kind of cool it'll let you create bots by just asking you a few questions uh, done for you pro includes a hundred bunch a hundred templates more well more than that they're add they add some all the time and then agency is a is ability to have other people use your account as if it's their account so you can actually resell this whole thing right anyways so once you have your account all you got to do is you got to create a bot so you go to well you'll see right here there's going to be a create a bot button right there you just click on that let's uh, take that link out of there so you just click on that you give the bot a name so I'm just going to call this uh, cis3 cis315 test right uh don't worry about I'm going to just put it in the main folder test bots actually I have a bot test folder so I'm going to create the bot so that's all I got to do you got to just create the bot and it's it's really that simple then you just have to add blocks so blocks are pieces of conversation so if you you can just imagine what do you want your visitor to to see when they open the bot right what do they want them to see first right so I'm just going to say first I'm going to add one block I'm just going to say this is going to be the welcome block you can give it whatever name you want this is just for you so you can see what when you when you have a lot of blocks you can see what is what so this is going to say welcome I'm going to say welcome to my blog right so you can say welcome to whatever your site is that kind of stuff then what you want is you want to let's just say add um I like to say do you have time for quick chat right so then I like to just ask them that right because well because it's makes them feel that you're you care about their time right so in the user response you click on your response you say over here I just want a button and I'm just going to say sure uh just one one sure I'm not going to say no because you know they, if they don't have time why why would I engage them I'm going to make them feel like I didn't listen right so I'm just going to say legal consent because I want the first person the first interaction to also include by clicking here you accept our privacy policy so I have actually a privacy policy on my site let me just open this whoops open a new tab I'm going to go get the link I use on my blog for my privacy I've got that I've got that in the footer at the bottom of the page I got a privacy privacy policy right here I'm just going to copy this link I'm going to put that in here that becomes my privacy policy right so I'm just going to say that I'm going to click on continue so now now what did I do okay so I'm going to save this so now what did I do I created one block that will pop up whenever they click the 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 chat on this on the bottom there right whenever they click this 
this this chat bot down here it'll pop up that first question right so that's kind of what you have here is your welcome the next thing is this is gonna ask them do they have time for a chat right so what you want to do is you want to say well what's next what's after they say yep I got time right so then we're going to add another block and we're we're going to say here we're going to say in this block we're going to say okay start well let's just say get get name because I'm going to be asking their name I'm going to say great great my name is Jean-Serge what's your name what's your name I'm going to ask them their name right I want to have a I want to be able to, to give use their name in the conversation so I'm going to say uh, user responses I'm going to say text and over here then the type I can choose <laughs> their first name and I'm just going to make it capitalize validation uh, just to make sure that you know they actually type something <laughs> right okay so continue and I'm going to save that so now all I'm doing here is after they've said they have time for a chat I want to ask their name so I'm gonna and the other thing is you want to connect those together because well before we do that let me just okay so that's the second one next I'm gonna say I asked them their name right and then I'm gonna say um ask uh what help they okay what help let's just say I post help so okay nice to meet you so for so now I have their name right so I can say nice to meet you and then I can add the the a placeholder that it'll be their name that shows up so I'm going to say use placeholder and over here you see there's all these different placeholders right uh and I'm going to say copy this close that and I'm going to say do 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 right over here like this nice to meet you uh so uh, and then I'm just gonna say add it here I'm gonna say what can I help you with right so I'm just gonna ask them what can I help you with right so then I'm gonna then obviously depending on my business depending on my blog depending on all sorts of things I'm gonna just say it so I'm gonna add a user response right here uh I'm gonna make it buttons to make it easy the first one will be um personal branding okay then I'm gonna say grow my audience then I'm gonna put um chat bot help chat bots just say chat bots then I'm gonna put a uh, chrome extension extensions and I'm gonna put uh, I don't know what else can I put in there what else can I help somebody with uh let's say um a course right course course hosting and then I can just say something else I can say something else okay and then that's it so I'm going to just say continue I'm going to save that okay so now we have oh let's just kind of show you so now the next thing as you can see down here there's like six different little red things so the way it works is that you connect these together because you know I could I could connect that I could connect that to here if I wanted but that doesn't make sense because after I welcome I'm asking do you have time to chat the first thing I want is to get their name so I'm going to connect that to this one and then <laughs> and then after I get their name I want to connect it to the next one so it obviously makes sense right now that I connected the first one to the second one the second one the third whatever and that's how you want to make sure you connect them but then after that it can get a little complicated you if you lay out your conversation before starting in here it'll certainly help a lot me I'm like you know I've done these the, lots of these so I kind of just do it like that but you really just write it on a piece of paper what is it what is a conversation that you would normally have you can even you can also do it um you know okay the first one here right what did we say the first one was the first one was grow my audience right oh no it's not first one is personal branding so maybe I should put my my course my course hosting or my chrome extension at the bottom let's put course hosting at the beginning put course hosting at the beginning whoops at the beginning right there then I want to put chat bots or chrome extensions next and then let's put chat bots next the stuff that I really kind of want to focus on I want to put the first few and then the rest is uh, afterwards right so the first one is course hosting okay I'm going to save that as course hosting the first one so now that means that the next block that I add 
can be any of those any of those right it always adds it right here so it's uh and the, so I'm just going to move it right here so this will be the first one this will be course hosting course hosting perf uh, great great do you already have a course I, I can just say awesome us I uh that's I can certainly help you with that and then I'm gonna add another one first and then I can and and like I said it's a conversation it's whatever you think you would be saying to this person right so I would say like do you do you already have a, a course posted a course created all right so I'm just going to say that user response and this is where you can have uh buttons again yes <coughs> and then no so no yes and no all right so I'm so this will be like you know if they if they say yes the first one is this right so if they say yes to this then I would I would say okay great so if you want to host your course on Click eCourse go to this site and and, and the, all that right so this can take a while to do depending on how complicated you want to make your chatbot right um and you know one thing I totally forgot is that I should mention if you're listening to the audio of this you really want to go to cis315.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video because I'm actually sharing the screen and showing you showing you what I'm talking about right so and also it's a blog post that I'm going to create on that, that link <coughs> so okay so that's the that's the first part you need to you need to create your your conversation that's it, like I said it's it's easy it's it can't it takes it's not sorry it's simple but it's not necessarily easy to do you got to learn the steps got to learn the different things like I said you click on the ad block then you, <laughs> then you actually click on the block to edit the text in it add user uh, responses that are uh, option that are possible and then after that you um you would you would um the, after that you would you know you <laughs> after that after uh, then you connect them right sorry so cr create a block uh, edit the block add text to it add user responses to it then connect the blocks together and that becomes your chatbot so that's once you've gotten all that done the next part is the design so let's just let's just say next right here <coughs> so what's the design the design is is where you choose uh, lots of different things the color the background the color the all the colors right so background I can say I want a, a gra gradient um, let's make it like this right or like this or like this I don't even I don't know like this anyways doesn't really matter let's just do that I can do an image as well if I want I can uh, put an, an upload or I put uh, my own image so let's just put the gradient right here uh well let's just make this one like this okay then the next thing is you have the message bubbles you can actually change the message bubble colors you can change the shape these these either have so they're like you said they're either all a square <coughs> they're all uh, circ square all circular or whoops shape two or they can be with uh around circular around all the edges except uh one place there which kind of looks like it's you know coming from one side or the other right so uh the next thing is the bot messages so you can change the colors of the bot messages I can change the background of the bot messages to some whatever color I want let's just do this and I can change the message text itself to be no uh, I don't know blue, dark blue there that's probably not uh where is uh, all right okay so there make this like this then I can change the uh the sub message text which is the text underneath see down here where it says just just now right so let's make that uh red oh my goodness let's make it yellow there you go 
okay that's what I let's say I want that now the user messages I can change the users messages to be a different color too so I can make this you know red make this red uh, then I can change the text itself to be white it's white right now I can make it just whatever color again you do whatever you want right so there let's do that okay and then there's also the text you can even change the fonts some of the different fonts right um this font size make it 18 I would like it to be bigger then the bot design so the bot design is how you see how on this on this it's a little fella it's a little you can change it to all these different people right or you can change it to a bot there's a bunch of different options and like me I uploaded my an image right so you can actually add your own image by clicking on add image and you can upload from your computer but I already uploaded so I'll kind of show you what the what these are <coughs> this is the gif it's a gif I created a gif I took a video of me doing this right and then I cut that out and created a gif from it there's tools online to do that and then I use that as my little because it kind of makes people it well I, I'm thinking it makes people notice it more if it's moving right but I don't know maybe it maybe it shouldn't move but um that's what I did if I do that now you can see that it's it's like this right but you can also put it on the left or the right side so let's say I want it I want the bot to be on the I can put it on the left or the right see it's on the right now left uh, sorry on the right and now it's on the left right so I can move the bot from one side to the other you can also change the text that shows up see how it says can I help you you can change the text here and where is it bot overlay text the default is can I help you hey there and then I just say that and I can actually see how it says two right there I can actually change that to three or one right or five or whatever right <coughs> message maybe it's two right I don't know um and you can change the bot so there's two different bots there's there's the image for here right and the image for here you can change them to be two different images the bot preload is the one that shows up on the page before you click it so I can make this um the the gallery again I can go in here choose the same image that I had but what if I but I don't want this image to be this one right so let's just change that to one that because they're in the conversation why would I want to point at it right why I don't need that anymore right once they're in the conversation I'm just put the regular my regular image whoops so yeah oh I guess they don't in this they don't show but if I <coughs> okay so that's the, that's what the bot design is once you've got your design done you just say next and then you have settings there's a bunch of things in here your custom domain for extreme features again extreme features for a full page uh auto close bot not even sure what that does automatically close the bot at the end of the chat oh, okay hide the bot on specific pages um and then more there's delayed bot not open one time only open bot on cursor hover which is kind of what I have um on on open bot on exit hover open your bot. all right so that's different so if I want my bot to automatically open when they just mouse over it like this if I want it to open when they mouse over just like this then then that's what that is right so over here I can say auto open on on cursor or just on hover right open bot on exit hover that's this one when I I have this like this actually let's reload the page because it <coughs> so that's when I mouse up if I try to leave the page it'll give me a a, a pop-up for it right and, the, and that's what that is so you can have it do that um, and then you can turn sounds on or off let's turn the sounds on on load sure on initial messages on all messages I want it to I want it to beep and bug them right so um the other stuff you can do is integration into your autoresponder so for example you can go through a conversation in your bot and ask them for their name for their email for their phone number all these different things and you can integrate into a Weber like I have mine where if you go through my bot and you say I want more information or I want the 12-step guide or whatever it's going to add you it's going to ask for your email 
ask for your email and then send you that book right so that's kind of what the, that's that's about uh what else what else what else anyways and then there's goal settings you can actually do analytics you can add google and google analytics google ads facebook pixel id all these different things on here <clears throat> and you can put a brand name the, well that's if you have the um, extreme I think and status on off what is that oh brand status okay so that's basically the uh settings now we just click on next and we can publish the bot so if, before we can publish we got to launch it so you got to click on the launch otherwise the bot won't work so you click on the launch <coughs> And then you can publish it there's a bunch of different ways you can add this widget code to your website you can actually put it in your blog header if I go in here and I go into my settings I actually have insert headers and footers available it's a plugin you got installed and you can put it all you can put it inside of this if you want but there's an easier way there's actually for WordPress you can just use the WordPress plugin right the WordPress plugin is just download it and install it on your blog and then you'll have this um conversion bot right here it'll become a, an option for you so now you can have different bots for different pages right so I <laughs> actually have a bot for the this page that's different and the default bot is this right so now let's say for example I want to add and this new bot on uh, I don't know let's put it on the page if I go to for example this this work with js uh, social media let's do um web chat conversion bot there oh that's actually the page <laughs> we're on just a second ago so let's not go to that one free Facebook chat bot mini chat coaching let's go to the coaching page I'm actually going to put on this page that like right now this bot is my default bot right welcome to my blog do you have time for a quick chat sure and then it says awesome my name is Jean Serge so that's basically the same as what we have but see it doesn't go anywhere else I didn't I, I probably should work on this particular chat but right maybe I should have used that as the example for this because I can actually in, improve on it right but um and maybe that's what I'll do in my another episode but this spot here is not very complete right so let's go over here and let's publish that bot to my page so I've got this bot id here I want to use this bot I just copy the bot id and then I go to my uh, page here and I'm, I'm going to add another one and I'm going to say for my coaching programs I want this bot I'm going to save that and that's that's really that's it it's on now it's on my page if I reload this you're going to see the crazy color bot and everything it's going to load up in a second here oh it's right oh I didn't uh did I not save the I didn't save the the design oh I didn't save the design oh, I forgot to save it if I go back to design here oh no nothing nothing saved I forgot to save I thought that the next saved as well but I guess not let's put the gradient color here so save that uh, let's just try some other let's message bubble I want to change the message bubble to the shape three I want to change the bot message background to mm, what is it that I want what did I don't even know what I had earlier let's do that let's do that the text will be that we'll make it a blue and then the sub message text let's make it a red no I don't like that it's too bright let's make it down here over here over here there you go okay so I'm just going to save that I forgot to save it I I assumed I I I, I always click save but then I doing this demo I was thinking I'm just going to click on next it's easier so the bot design I also want this to be on the left on the left hand side and I want this to be my image right I want my image to be uh, this one here and I want the bot preload one to be the little image that is uh, showing my hand on the side right I'm going to save that and launch it okay now if we reload this it'll be more it'll be what we expect <coughs> 
so that bot is down here still my same image and but when I click it the color is not what the other one was right you see the background color the colors and I say sure and then it's going to say great my name is Jean Serge it's Bob my name is Bob and then it'll ask me nice to meet you Bob what can I help you with and then all the things that I said right course hosting Chrome extension chatbot all this stuff right that now that's all there and this would make sense to put on my coaching program page right because you know that's kind of like the um the default pricing or whatever and it's you know what do you want help with right and I might say well you, given this you might want to join the elite coaching program because you're going to need at least 10 calls right that's what that is or 15 calls and then or maybe you need just 10 calls or maybe you just need five calls maybe you want just one call so I can kind of guide them through what they need right because they might read this and be like oh, that's sweet I don't I don't even know what the hell I want so let's just say they talk about what they want I can guide them through and that's kind of what you do to add a bot to your wordpress blog right that's all you got to do it's really that simple so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions or comments or you want to know how to set up your chatbot on your blog just go ahead and reach out put a comment below if you're watching uh, this video on my blog go ahead and comment if you're watching the video on you in YouTube make sure you subscribe and comment uh, all the good stuff all right and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time